Don't want to fall too fast. I might break my meat sticks. Hey! That was a little flat, but welcome back, everybody. I am Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust. We are on the PC right now, but we are talking about the Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox, of course, and the next gens as well, PS5 and the Series X and the Series S. Uh, Xbox respectively uh, but yeah today we're talking about it's a little bit of an update but we're talking about the beta skins the new skins that should be available for everybody as there was a tweet relatively recently and talking about kind of the current state of the game kind of a little update from people that actually been playing in the console edition quite heavily and you know some of you may have already seen us play live on stream this was from the early access um, that was a heavy-duty raid we went to. Uh, tell me that's not majestic. And this is from the Zerg that we did during the early access as well. Uh, big thanks to everybody that showed up for that. That was a blast. And uh, just a little side note, uh, you know, stay tuned. We might do another Zerg. You never know. And uh, just so you know, I, there is no official information right now for the community servers. They will be coming. We're just not sure when. And so the interim... Because, um, you know, we do a lot of arenas here on the PC side. So we might do one or two of those here uh, while we're waiting for the community server. But rest assured, when that does come for the Xbox and PlayStation, we're going to be making arenas for everybody, the viewers. And we'll be streaming it. It'll be a fantastic time. So stay tuned for that. And again, once we get more information, we'll let you know. Okay, so uh, we just got a tweet. And let me see if I can fill you in here. I think I've got it already. Yes, I do. Go me. Okay, so this came from Double Eleven. The people that did the port for the, uh, geez, I'm like, Rust? <laughs> Rust Console Edition? My goodness, I just had a stroke. Okay, here we go. Well, the team is working on 104 and bringing the staging branch live with the first content update on it, we're excited to announce the unlocking of the beta skins for everyone who participated in one of these beta tests. The skins are already in the game, and the players should have access to them today. Well, it's going to be after the fact. July 8th, so if you're seeing this, just make sure you reset your game and you should see it. And make sure you're signed in on the account that you did participate in uh, the betas with. Any one of them, as far as I understand it. After 4.30 GMT, that's kind of irrelevant now because it's well after the fact. You will need to leave your server, restart the game to get access to them. We are aware of the performance issues and bugs, so our focus is on fixing those and giving you an overall better experience as soon as we can. The reason why we didn't unlock the skins closer to the release of the game was because we needed to ensure stability and performance and had... We had to ensure that stability and performance had improved enough. Man, I cannot read, right? I'm so bad at the reading. With this said, releasing into the live environment with thousands of players using the skins at the same time is different from testing them in a closed environment. That is very true. And that's true for any game. Uh, we are confident that everything will go well. However, in the small chance that any performance issues are detected caused by the beta skins, we will pull them until beyond the 104 patches. It's interesting they say that because during one of the beta tests, we saw that one of, well, there was a couple of things. There were a couple items that didn't have skins on them, so we're wondering if those were some of the skins that they had worked on. I don't know, like a month or two ago. That's just speculation. We noticed that one of them was a double barrel. Oh, but no, here it is. It's, la it's uh, not the last paragraph, but almost the last paragraph. It says, one last note. The double barrel shotgun, speaking of, skin is not included in this patch due to a minor bug, which would have required a game side patch. Once this is resolved, we'll add it to your inventory. That's awesome. Uh, updates on the Rust Console Edition status website about patch 104 should come soon. End of this week, early next. So probably July 12th. That would be like a Monday, maybe Tuesday, I'm guessing. I don't know yet, um, but I, I, I have a feeling it'll be uh, a good series of things, but I'll speculate here in a sec. Uh, it says, we'll update everybody once we add any new information. Hope you're all having a great day. Fantastic. And as you can see here, uh, we've got all the different skins. So, by the way, this is from the console edition, and it's like Inception. I put them in a picture frame on the PC edition. Is your mind melting? Mine is... Well, here you go. Here are some of the skins that we had access to, just to show you them in context. And if you're there for the live stream, you saw us doing a little photo shoot. And we're kind of poor on that particular server, so we don't exactly have an AK yet. There are the boys posing, looking great. Looks like Janine's getting held up for the stone pickaxe. <laughs> and then there it is up close. Again, we don't have the AK skin. And then there's the Python. Isn't that fancy? And again, that's for PlayStation and Xbox, obviously. Um, so, yeah, they bring up an interesting thing. So, 
they're talking about the staging branch, and we're still not sure when that's coming in, or if the skin store is coming with 104. They're still kind of on the fence about that, as far as I understand it. I would say, say your expectation for afterwards, and if it comes sooner, that'll just be that much better. I know a lot of us are chomping at the bit for it. I know I am. Um, I've, I've obviously been playing this game since it came out. I have a ton of skins. I mean, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I can't stop. Look at this. What's this? Is this a monkey? This is a monkey on an AK? Say what? Is that a banana on the back? Yo, so yeah, I mean, obviously we want this to come. And I know a lot of people are excited for it. But again, I think it's the right move for them to focus on stability. Because I know, you know, this is covering a lot of different generations of consoles. Uh, we're looking at, you know, the core systems. You're looking at the pro systems. And then you're looking at the next gens. So, yeah, there's a lot of ground to cover. So they got to make sure that's all stable. So it's looking good. So anyways, 104... I think it may or may not have the skin store, but hear me out. The uh, the staging branch might come in there, too. That's kind of the gist I'm getting, right? And if not, it should be close to it. And think about this. 104 is important because once 104 is here, that means the next one is the power surge update. That's right. The power surge update. To bring things in, well, you're not going to see this voice DLC, but potentially some power things. I mean, like, check this out real quick, right? I'm gonna get struck for this. I mean, obviously not the disco ball and the voice props and stuff, right? But like, look at all the circuitry, right? It's exciting. Anyways, my point is, uh, if that is the case, if that's the next piece and staging branch is around for 104, that means we'll probably get to see the power surge update a little bit early. Now remember, staging branch is just that. There are going to be bugs and balancing things that do come in. It's the same as PC. You saw us do the same thing with... Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. You can kind of see as you come up the stairs. The, um, you saw the same thing when the, um, the car beta came out for the PC last year. Uh, there were definitely some balance issues. We went through and we live streamed it. So, um, you know, expect that kind of stuff. But it's very exciting for the diehard players that are going to be in there waiting for that new content. So that's mad exciting. So yeah, that's uh, that's the gist of it, I think. I think we covered everything here. So be sure to drop a like if you found this useful and helpful. It really does help out a lot. And, uh, you know, keep a lookout. Even though we're on PC here, we definitely play it on console. And again, I think the only time we'll probably pop over here is for the arena building. And again, we're going to be doing that over on the community servers as soon as those become available. But hey, if you've got PC now and you want to join in the arena when we do it sometime this month, uh, you know, just pop in during one of the streams. We'll try to give you the info once we're done with the construction. That'll be BioLaser, RazorTube, and myself. We're, that's the boyfriend squad. We will be doing the build. This is our test server. You can tell because I have admin powers. Look at this. I'm flying. So that'll be exciting. So it basically, it's going to be a prelude to, you know, the community servers that we'll be hosting once that does become available. So... A little bit of manhunt, a little bit of arena action, mostly PvP, but it should be a good time. Anyways, we'll be live streaming it over on the console in the interim. So, uh, yeah, love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you, B! I feel like that silence is going to break. <laughs> Woo! The AK is not the most rowdiest gun.